what should you expect by the end of this course by going through all these videos understanding you should be very comfortable in understanding the difference between what spontaneous breath and positive pressure breath and how ventilators works different modes how they differ pick the right ventilation mode and settings understanding every number and waveform we see in the ventilator screen getting all info regarding respiratory mechanics from the ventilator screen ventilator troubleshooting will be very easy will be also you'll be very comfortable uh, uh, weaning patients off the ventilator and very comfortable dealing with the hemodynamics effects of mechanical ventilation you will get a pretty good experience and when you take care of patients who are on mechanical ventilation things will make all sense you know exactly what's going on and will make your life a lot easier who should or who will benefit from this course Anybody who will deal with patient require mechanical ventilations from, of course, um, hospitalist, if you're going to be working in ICU, internal medicine residents, because they will have an ICU rotation for sure, and they need to be very comfortable really taking care of ventilate patient, or anybody like even surgical residents, uh, that will take care of um, ICU patients as well, ICU nurses, respiratory therapists, RTs, and nurse practitioners, PAs, who will also be taking care of ICU patients. So basically anybody who will have a role in taking care of a mechanically ventilated patients will benefit from this course very important thing to finish with please watch these videos in order because every video is building on what we discuss in the previous videos if you skip some videos sometimes things may not make sense please go back and watch them in order